Next, immigration. The freedom of movement is a fundamental right within the European Union, but it remains a controversial topic. So what exactly is it like to leave everything behind in search of a better life? Well, Jeremy Stern has been to meet one woman leaving Romania to come and live and work in the south of England. The Carpathian Mountains stretch across the north of Romania. Hidden amongst them is the Barovoir Monastery. The views are stunning, the sounds natural. It's where Eva comes for time out. This is uh, the place that gives me that uh, inside peace. When I have so, so many things on my mind, uh, this, uh, this place re really helped me to, uh, to think, to, to take some uh, decisions about my future, about uh, how it used to be and how it will be from uh, now on. Eva was born and raised in Romania, but her future's in the UK. She's accepted a job at a care home in Dorset. She's hoping the extra money will pay for her two sons, Harold and Mark, to get through university. For me, this, uh, this is an opportunity to, to help my kids to, to reach their uh, they dreams. And uh, as a responsible parent, I think it's, it's the only thing I can do. I am this close to, to see them on, on their own, so um, this is what I have to do. I consider myself really lucky because I find this, uh, this job in UK and I, I hope I will find the good people there and uh, I, I think it's gonna be okay. It's been a year since Romanians have had complete freedom to live and work in the UK, opening up all kinds of possibilities for the 20 million population. In Tugamores, many people work at or close to the power station. Some say the air here is dirty, but the main reason they want to move away is that wages are about five times higher in the UK. My name is Samartian Vasile, and I want to go to working in England, and I want to work truck driver. I, I go there for my family to win some money. That's, that's for money. My name is Bogdan Shulia. I'm 26 years old. I was working in a coffee shop and I want to work in the finance or banking in the UK. We are hard workers all the time, everywhere, everywhere where we go. We are taking the jobs from the, from the bottom till the top. Even if the money doesn't bring you happiness, it's, it's a part of the happiness. My name is Levente Martin, I'm 23 years old and I really want to work in the UK in a luxury resort. Dreams cannot be come true, you know, but you have to build them. Here in this country, it's very difficult to build. You're getting very small bricks to build up your dream, to build up a wall. But if you go maybe in UK or Germany or France, but I prefer, okay, UK, you get bigger bricks so you can build it up more easier. In the town centre, the recruitment company T-Jobs is setting Romanians up in posts across Europe. We have France over here, we have Netherlands over here, Germany over there, and then we have T-Jobs recruit for UK back over there. Last year, 200,000 jobs were advertised by British companies in Romania. There were nowhere near enough people to fill the posts. We have a hard working mentality ever since, uh, not only from Ceausescu and the communist period, we had a mentality of work, 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 and uh, want to work extra hours, and this is a plus. So it's, they are appreciated and uh, the employer is happy, then uh, the Romanian worker is happy as well. It's the night before Eva leaves her hometown of Fagaras. She's having a get together at her favorite restaurant. My sons, Harald and Mark, my sister, Bougie, and my friends, Anka, Cristina, and Adriana. Eva's dreading saying goodbye. Heartbreaking? 
I, uh, I try not to think about this uh, today. I will take every minute uh, as it comes and uh, I will see that, but uh, for sure uh, it, it won't be easy. She is the person I admire most and she is my role model. It takes a lot of courage to be able to uh, just stand up and say I'm done with this and uh, start a new life. It's something I must do. Easy or not. Her sister is moving in with me, so um, he'll be gonna... he'll be covered. Yeah, <laughs> I got he'll, that covered. He'll have for someone me, to take nice. care of him. <laughs> Talk turns to a recent British television program about Romanians living abroad. Be, uh, beware, the Romanians are coming. It's made the group unsure about how Eva will be received in the UK. Uh, it uh, doesn't reflect the the reality. I've seen the program and I, I think it's very demeaning. To, to, our, to our country. They show only uh, gypsies or very poor people and uh, no, it wasn't fair. There are intelligent people, clever people uh, who do have better jobs and earn a lot of money and also pay their taxes and yes. social insurances. Yes. It wasn't fair. Some Romanians may feel misunderstood, but last year alone 35,000 left for the UK in search of a better life. <laughs> but how much better will it actually be? <laughs> Mariana moved from Romania to Southampton a year ago. I have a son, 14 years old. Um, he stay with my parents now. I leave everything. A good job, actually, was a good job. Home, family, mom, dad, son, everything. Boyfriend, everyone. She arrived with £10 in her pocket and no job contract. When shifts at a restaurant dried up, Mariana couldn't afford her rent and ended up sleeping in a train station. I couldn't believe it. It was a little bit, you know, what I've done? Why am I here? And I cry like in a movie, actually. It's raining. And I walk in, in the rain and cry. Mariana's now found work and is settled. But back in Romania, there are countless stories of people who've flown home no better off because it didn't work out in the UK. It's making others think twice about emigrating. Marius Penner planned to move to the UK from the family home in Bucharest to save enough for an extension. Starting with the roof over here, about three, four meters long. Walls, bring some furniture over here. You make yourself a room. He was offered a job painting cars in Hampshire for £10 an hour, but after scrutinising the paperwork, Marius discovered the contract was shorter and the hours longer than he said he'd been led to believe. I felt like I was not treated as a, as a man. I felt like I was treated, OK, you, you're coming to work for me, I own you. The conditions of the contract made me feel like a slave. Marius pulled out of the deal and has a warning to other Romanians who come to the UK hoping to make their fortunes. No matter who you are, you are an idiot if you think you're going to discover gold. There's no going back for Eva. She'll soon begin work at a care home in Dorset. For now, it's goodbye Romania. I will take each step as it comes. Each day, is, uh, each day as it comes, I might come back or I might stay there. I, I really don't know now. I'm open for uh, for a new future. So, what I know is that it will be okay. Rather, I am here or there. Eva's story there. Twitter is a great way to keep in touch with the show. You can find us at Inside Out South. Now, there's no doubting that immigration will be a key topic at the forthcoming general election.